Hey guys, want to welcome you back to this Michigan farm and tell you a little bit about garlic scape powder that we've been making this year. So I'm seeding pretty close to my garlic patch. I'm actually sitting in the clover that's going to be made into my garlic this fall, garlic patch this fall. And I'm holding this can, four ounce can of garlic scape powder. We've been making it this year and it's been tasting really, really good. If you like a little mild taste of garlic with a hint of onion, a little earthy flavor, this stuff's great. It is really fantastic. Mild, but really, really good in pasta, in um, mashed potatoes, and I'll tell you a little bit of other uses to use for it in just a little bit. So how do you make it? Well, first of all, you want to make it when your garlic scapes are ready to harvest. So garlic scapes are the seed pod that comes up from a hardneck garlic plant. And when the garlic scape turns on itself and makes that circle, that's when you want to clip it off from the plant and then go ahead and use it for whatever you want to use it for. Now, garlic scapes by themselves can be used in anything you use garlic for. You can cook them up in a stir fry, cook them like asparagus, put them on pizza, whatnot. But how do you dry it? So for this four ounce can, it takes about 36 to 40 garlic scapes. And what we do is we clip the garlic scapes off once they've curled. There's a fibrous end, a really narrow fibrous end right after that yellow seed pod that you can see there. Clip that off and get rid of that. You don't want that fibrous end. There's not a whole lot of great, good flavor in that. And then the rest of the garlic scape, clip it a couple times and throw it in a food processor. Now we grind it up in a food processor pretty well. You don't want chunks like this because they won't dry in your dehydrator well. You want really, really small chunks. So grind it up really well in your food processor. And then from your food processor, take your uh, parchment paper and put it over your grates on your dehydrator and spread your garlic scape chunks on that. And then throw it in your dehydrator. The best temperature to do is 120 degrees and do it for 10 hours. That will dry it out completely and do very, very well. So 120 degrees for 10 hours, dry those chunks of garlic scapes. Pull them back out. We throw them in a Vitamix in a, and blend them up then and blend them up into a nice powder and then pour it into here. That's It's that simple. So what do you use garlic scape powder for? What I really like to do is actually take it and spread it into my eggs on the stove. You can put it in an omelet, spread it into mashed potatoes, uh, put it on pasta. We've been putting it on pasta. You can really, anything that you want a, just a hint of mild garlic flavor on, um, you can put this on. It is incredibly tasty. It's not very strong. So if you're someone that says, I really don't like a strong garlic flavor, you're never going to go wrong with this. This is not very strong. It is nice and mild, but it gives it a nice flavor. So more earthy flavor with a hint of oniony flavor and garlicky flavor all mixed into one. So I challenge you guys to try it. Um, you can buy this at Elk Rapids Farmer's Market. We'll be there on Fridays uh, for the rest of the summer. So you can buy this there. Um, but you can also just make it yourself. If you take three bundles of our bundles, which are our bundles of scapes are about 12 scapes or so. If you take three of those bundles then, and follow what I told you, how I told you how to do it, you can make your own garlic scape powder. So give it a try. Garlic scape powder is awesome. We really like it. It's a really exciting new thing on the farm. So either you can buy it from us or give it a try yourself. I want you guys to subscribe below. More videos coming. And you guys have a great day from this Michigan farm and, of course, Hillside Harvest Farm as well. You guys take it easy.